Okay, this presentation will relate to the gamma distribution. So, in this question what we're told is that there's a certain metropolitan city where the daily consumption of electric power in terms of million kilowatt hours, NKH, may be regarded as a random variable having a gamma distribution with parameters 3 and 2. Now, just to sort of start off with, there are actually other variant ways of specifying the gamma distribution, but I'm using one where I will use the shape and scale parameter okay as a default one if that's my fundamental my default setting for the gamma distribution in other questions uh, I will if if I am using a different specification I will make it a bit more evident but this is the shape and scale parameter okay three and two now the variable of interest here is the daily consumption of power so that's our x variable there okay so, uh, we're, let's continue. If the power plant has a daily capacity of 12 mkh, what is the probability that this power supply will be inadequate on a given day? That means, what is the probability that x is going to be greater than 12? So, it can, 12 is like a maximum. So, it's, let's just say it supplies 12 every day. What is the probability that demand will exceed 12? That would be inadequate, an inadequate supply. So essentially this is what we're asked here, probability of x greater than or equal to 12. Okay, or greater than 12 really. But it doesn't really matter so much when it's a continuous random variable. So this is the gamma distribution and this is the way we're specifying it. And again, just in case there, there are other ways of specifying the gamma distribution, uh, but if I am using a, a question with a different specification, I'll make it clear. So this is the shape and scale parameters, k and theta. So k here is equal to 3 and theta here is equal to 2. So this is the main specification of the probability, de de probability density function here. Okay, so I was just checking a few things there before I started. But just to make it a little bit easier to read, I just re-expressed that as follows, okay? So f of x, where x is greater than 0, equals 1 over gamma of k times t to the power of k times x to the power of k minus 1 times the exponential of minus x over theta. Okay, so there's quite a lot of going on there. Now, but remember, k is equal to 3 and theta is equal to 2. Okay, so we can sort of start to uh, simplify this expression here. Uh, theta to the power of k is simply 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, okay? The gamma function, gamma of theta is the gamma function, and for all positive integers, gamma of theta equals gamma, sorry, gamma of alpha, if you pardon me, equals alpha minus 1 factorial. So alpha minus 1, ca calculate that, and then get the factorial of that. So gamma of 3 equals 3 minus 1 factorial, which is 2 factorial, which is equal to 2. Okay, so when we piece this all together. This is 1 over 2 times 8. Okay, x to the power of k minus 1 is x to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 2, and theta is equal to 2, so we have the exponential there of minus x over 2. Okay, so uh, that's just a bit of old junk there, you can disregard that. So, essentially what we have there, so we sort of pieced it all together, okay, and so this is the, for our specification with uh, 3 and 2, we can simplify the PDF as follows, or just put in some numbers there. And again, just using the, make it a little bit clearer, that the, this is essentially the key function that we are looking at there. f of x, small f equals 1 over 16 times x squared times exponential of minus x over 2, okay? So essentially this is an integration question, okay? So a lot of what we're going to do from now on is essentially uh, integration. And you'll just actually look at the, that this is the, I'm going to sort of focus in on this part here, okay? x squared times the exponential of minus x over 2. And if you're feeling that this is... A probability or sorry an integration by parts question or calculation you're not wrong okay so essentially this is what we're doing here so this is really integration by parts now really if you're doing gamma distributions and stuff like this you probably want to have seen 
differentiation and integration before and be familiar and comfortable with integration by parts because really this is a fairly textbook example of an integration by parts question okay but I'll just go over the basics of it quickly u is equal to x squared and that means that du is equal to 2x times dx dv is equal to the exponential of minus x over 2 dx okay so when we integrate that out we get minus 2 times the exponential of minus x over 2 okay so this is the fundamental formula for the integration by parts there okay so really there should be nothing too troubling here I, the one thing about it is though that you you want to spend a lot of time with these questions there so this is how we would sort of progress matters here okay so just use our standard formula there u times v minus the integral of v du okay just piece it all together there but what you'll sort of see here is when you get down here that you have to do another integration by parts uh, here so that's what i'm going to call i2 okay i2 here okay and essentially just do integration by parts again so it's a composite integration by parts there okay i2 is the integral of x times the exponential of minus x over 2 dx okay so same thing again okay here rather than u and v i'm going to use a and b okay but it's really the same idea it's just keep my notation as uh, distinctive as possible okay a is equal to x da is equal to dx okay db is equal to the exponential of minus x over 2 dx so we get that back okay b okay and when we piece it all together there the x i2 which is the second integral equals a b minus the integral of b d a and just piece it all together there and the exponential of minus x over 2 dx which is minus 2 the exponential times the exponential of minus x over 2 so that's where that plus 2 becomes minus 2 essentially i will go this is integration so of an exponential so you really shouldn't have should not be having too much trouble there so if you are this is the wrong question to be gamma distributions gamma functions and so on are the wrong place to be learning about integration by parts but essentially what we should do is be able to piece it all together there okay so ultimately the integral should end up as follows okay so the exponential of minus x over 2 times minus 2x squared minus 8x minus 16 okay so the question really is probability of x greater than 12 greater than or equal to 12 but so now this is an uh, so, so that's what the question asks us and essentially how would we express that as an integral well that is an integral from 12 to infinity okay so f of x times dx so essentially what we have there uh, 1 over 16 um, so it's actually I set it up down here so this is where we got to so essentially the, our integral is sorry actually that's what i was reminding myself there we have one over 16 that i took out a bit earlier on so the integral evaluate this from 12 to infinity and yeah as i said don't forget that 16. so when we evaluate it for infinity uh essentially what we will end up with is uh, zero times infinity okay somebody just started commenting on that that that's not exactly equal to zero but for the purposes of probability you know it's not 100 percent correct to exp uh, evaluate that as zero mathematically but for the purposes of probability when we evaluate that expression at infinity it's okay to say zero okay for all intents and purposes so essentially what we do now is evaluate it for 12 okay so it's at the lower uh, limit of the of the limits of integration okay evaluate it by 12 so the exponential of minus 12 over 2 which i have down here and we have that quadratic expression minus x squared minus 8x minus 16 when i evaluate that for 12 that's 288 plus 96 plus 16 that all divides by 16 okay we have a minus here and a minus here they'll cancel out okay so 
the 0 minus minus that cancels out so we end up with uh, 400 over 16 times the exponential of minus 6 that's 25 times e to the minus 6 the exponential of minus 6 so that works out to be 0 .0 0 0.062 okay so less than 1% okay now so there was a lot involved in this and a lot to do really was about integration by parts okay and sometimes you just can't avoid it okay and you get fairly long questions this is actually doesn't look like a big long question but it actually does turn out to be a big long question anyway we leave it there